AI is catching on with America's pastime, something thousands of Twins fans learned at Target Field over the weekend. They were able to enter Target Field quickly and securely. So how does facial recognition work? Good question. Jeff Wagner shows us the technology and who else is using it. Welcome to Target Field. Ballpark greetings. Let's have fun today. You're used to hearing. One at a time, guys. Now with a technological twist. You sign up for Go Ahead Entry. This is you lie. Cameras scanning faces instead of tickets through MLB's new Go Ahead Entry system powered by AI. The accuracy of these uh, recognition models have gone up significantly. Dr. Manjit Rege is the director of the Center for Applied Artificial Intelligence at St. Thomas. The one that is being used at um, the Go Ahead lanes is using NEC's uh, NeoFace technology that has an accuracy of 99.85%. To use Go Ahead Entry, fans upload a selfie to MLB's Ballpark app. Their picture becomes a numerical token, which is then compared to the face cameras just analyzed. How is the facial recognition technology actually working to determine who it is? So the first thing is recognizing where the object, in this case the person, is and then narrowing it down to the face. It then looks for unique biometrics, sort of like a facial fingerprint, the distance between your eyes, skin color, or nose and lip shape. So all of that combined together comes up, you know, we end up having a, a numerical number. Why is trust important as we move to use this more often? Trust uh, is extremely important because at the end of the day, people's you know faces are getting scanned. Concerns that pictures could be stored or be incorrectly identified stand out. Studies have shown that facial recognition is less accurate for people of color, but Dr. Rege feels recent improvements to AI algorithms have reduced issues of bias, including for go-ahead entry. Where else is this technology already being used that people might not have realized? Every time you look at your phone, the phone unlocks itself. Some Delta Airlines customers have used it to quickly navigate security checkpoints. The Mall of America has cameras constantly scanning faces, looking for potential threats, like people who are banned or wanted by police. What is the next step for this type of technology? It's a payment systems. Every time you take out a credit card and you scan it, instead of that, your face can get scanned. How about in your car? Facial recognition could adjust your preferences, like your seat, the music, and the temperature once you sit inside. With the higher accuracy, um, there is going to be a huge applic other application areas as well. In Minneapolis, Jeff Wagner, WCCO News.